What is up, guys? It's Fanboy from Super Lego Fanboy, and today we're doing a rather different type of Lego review. This is from the Lego minifigure series. It's the Lego Disney The Muppet Hedge. You get 12 minifigures you can collect, each coming with their own different accessory, and green, and every, and they are limited edition. Now, the now when you get each an end up, but the bag will come in like like this, like not the old style. This is the newer style bags. This is much bigger ones than the uh, small ones. Four. Now, as you uh, collect uh, each uh, Muppet, you also get a collector sheet, which I have one right here. Now, let me just open this up. This is just a little tricky. And there we go. There are each of the 12 Muppets you can collect. So right here, that's Rolf. Right there. Right, number one is Rolf. Number two is Dr. Honeydew. Number three is Beaker. Uh, looks like number four is Gonzo with Camilla. Uh, that's the chicken right there. Number five is Kermit. Six is Miss Piggy. Seven is Fozzie. Eight is Animal. Uh, nine is Waldor. Ten is is Stefan. Uh, Standor. Uh, we got the Swedish Chef, which is number eleven, and number twelve is Janice. Uh, moving on to the back, there are actually some instructions of how if you get like Fozzie, Stefan. Or animal, they have like little instructions of how to build like their little accessories. So now the so we'll just get right into our Muppets. Uh, I'll just let you know each these Muppets are set number seven one zero three three each Muppet. So we'll just move now. We'll just move on to our characters. So I'm gonna st start one by one in the order they are. So, this here is Rolf, the dog, and he was the oldest, the one of the oldest Muppets. In fact, he was like in a, well, to be fair, the I was not born when the Muppets came out, like in the 90s. And it looks like his accessories are a music note, right there. And right there is actually a statue of Beethoven. Um, looks like he has a, like, a serious face right there. And actually, he has a secondary face. Looks like he's taking a snooze. Which is pretty fun. <laughs> and actually, uh, Rolf actually has some, uh, printed, uh, some printed, like, fur on him. On, even, on his legs, and even back. And I really love the head sculpt. That is... Is one hundred percent likeness of Rolf right there, which is very nicely done. Next up, we have Doctor Bunnydew. Uh, this is his accessory is a glass uh, beaker with a guess like a like some kind of like a liquid right there. Of course, Doctor Honey, Doctor Ben Honey uh, Bun, Doctor Bunny. I'm sorry. Dr. Honeydew, uh, he's, he's a scientist, as well as this guy, we'll take a look at next. And he has the new, uh, like, Harry Potter, uh, legs, like, uh, these, uh, new mini legs that I can actually move. Oop. And yeah, that, that's a really nice head print right there. Some nice front printing on him. Dual molded, uh, uh, only just the shoes. And there's no back printing on this guy. Maybe because he's in his lab coat. Maybe, maybe that's what that's what he's wearing, his lab coat. Next up we have Beaker. He's one of the funniest characters we get in the Muppets. Of course, he's the partner of Dr. Honeydew, right there. Looks like his accessory is a controller. That, that's my guess. He uh, got some really nice... And he looks like he's in his like his green lab coat. I'm guessing. 
And I just love where he goes, me, 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 me. And the head scope looks pretty funny. Like, I don't know how Lego was able to achieve the, like, cut lip. Do you mean, like, the, uh, I don't like, me, 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 like that kind look, that look. But nevertheless, a really nice minifigure. Really great leg printing on him. Uh, no back printing on him, just like Dr. Benny, Dr. Honeydew. Number, and here we have Gonjo. Or some of you might know him as Gonzo the Great. And, uh, yeah, this is a very, a very nice minifigure. I actually have a few Gonjos. I mean, Gonjo's probably one of the common, the com one of the most common characters I had collected. I think I have, like, maybe five Gonjos. This was, like, my very first Gonjo right there. Looks like he's in his chili shirt with some nice printing on his legs and shirt. And looks like he's in his, uh, chili sh uh, and looks like really nicely done head, head sculpt. And besides, he is, after all, the Muppet from Space. And his sexy is Camilla, his girlfriend, uh, Chicken. That's my guess. Just Camilla. That's a really, just a really nice chicken right there. I don't have any other chickens to compare it to, so that's the only chicken type I have. And here we have everybody's most... The most iconic Muppet of all time, Kermit the Frog. Fun fact, this was actually my very first Lego Muppet character I collected. Did, I mean, I got Kermit from Best Buy. There was like only two of them, so I decided to grab one. And his accessories are, of course, his banjo. And of course, a rainbow, because he's playing the Rainbow Connection. Just like Dr. Honeydew, he comes with those like mini tiny movable those tiny legs that can actually move which is nice the rainbow is nicely done as well as his banjo uh he this this one does not have any leg printing on him but still there's really nice printing on his torso and actually a fun fact kermit the this kermit was actually based on a real life frog called the glass frog so yeah that's pretty cool Kermit, a, a, a fantastic minifigure you can try to find. Of course, you can't have Kermit without Miss Piggy. Her accessory is a 2x3 tile with, of course, it says Miss Piggy right there. And actually, this was actually the last minifigure I needed to complete the collection. I mean, I just ordered Miss Piggy off on Amazon, and it actually came today. So, a win for me. Let's see, she's looking stylish as always. Very nice headpiece, and you got a lot of purple, uh, pink right there, but well, mostly pink. Uh, you got some uh, like silver, like like I think these are supposed to be like her like shoes, I'm guessing. And that's a really nice printed piece right there. I love it. And yeah, you get some really nice printing on him, on her, and some nice back printing on Miss Piggy. Very nice, and you done. Next up, we have the one and only Fozzie Bear. His accessories are a banana and, of course, his mic. Fozzie is, is one of the most fun, the most funniest characters in the Muppets. And, yeah, this is just... Look, they did a great job on Fozzie. I mean, the hat looks pretty nice. The scarf is pretty nice. And just like Rolf, Fozzie has some fur on him. Uh, printed fur. On his legs and even on his back, and you can see the scarf goes all the way right, right there. And yeah, he's one of well, it's a very nice, a very nice minifigure you could get. As and he even has some mouth of branding. Uh, I forgot to mention Kermit also has some details in his mouth. But still, Fozzie was a is a fantastic minifigure. You should get. Oh, sorry, Miss Piggy. Oh, she's gonna go all karate on me. No, oh, no! Uh, anyways, here we have one, the two, one of the members of the Electric Mayhem. And that is Animal! Of course, Animal has his drum set, and our, his drum set are actually Harry Potter wands, which is very nice. There's a reference to Dr. Teeth right there, that printed piece right there, so pretty nice. 
he also has a, his symbol right there, and of course his like a beat. Uh, and just like Trim and Fozzy, he has a mouth printing in his uh, mouth printing. So let me try. To, I I don't know if you can see that, but uh, you can. Yeah, but st this is very nice mubby you can get. And yeah, this, he's a like. Of course, Amma has his three modes of his drumming: loud, depth, uh, extremely loud, and depth-defying loud. Overall, this is a very great idea for a Muppet character. I hopefully they will release. Hopefully, Lego will make a season two of the Muppet Blind Bags. Maybe we might get Doctor Teeth or Walter. He is. Well, Walter was a no. Member of the Muppet who joined Walter actually was made the Muppets. So pretty much Walter is a fan of the Muppets who actually became one in the 2011 movie of the Muppets. Nevertheless, we got the two two grumpy old dudes, uh, Stuffer and Waldor. Looks like Waldor has a tea cup and looks like a tile with Z's right there. And Stuffer has his computer with actually a with two printed pieces, the this uh, keyboard, and looks like we got a scooter right there. Uh, maybe we might get a Lego scooter if they do a season two of Muppets. The head sculpts are pretty are pretty nicely done on both of them, and yeah, you can clearly see who they are. The two grumpy dudes, but still very nice minifigures. And here we have the Swedish chef. Woo, woo, woo. Looks like he has his luck. Looks like he has his like whisk right there. And I'm guessing that's supposed to be a tomato right there with a happy face right with a face right there. And overall, this is a really nice minifigure. Woo, woo, woo. The head sculpt it looks absolutely fantastic. You got some more. Printing on his back and some dual model legs, and yeah, this is just a really, this is kind of an ironic character from the Muppets. And the last minifigure is I usually forget her name, but this this is actually Jan Janice. She's like, oh, it's here, dude! Wow, I love it. Looks like her accessory is a guitar, which is the exact same mold we got in J the Avatar J from the. Uh, arcade pod, if you remember, I did that video a long time, a while ago, and she has some printing, some leg printing on her. her so it looks like she has her shoes, dual molded legs, and that head still looks pretty nice. But first, let me get give show you a good look at the her back printing right there because of all this. Let's see here. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm not doing my best, but still. At Janice, just like Animal, she's part of the Electric Mayhem. Hope I'm really hoping they Lego will do another, like a Lego series too of the Muppets. And yeah, she is a pretty nice minifigure. So, here, there we go. And let's just bring in the bag just for fun. So, my overall thoughts about this series of minifigures. I mean, this is just a fantastic set. I'm, I mean, this is actually the first time I actually could collect a Lego Mup, a Lego minifigure series. And yeah, I love Kermit, Fozzie, even Piggy, and Gonzo. The others are just mind blowing. So, I give this set like a two, uh, uh, I'll give them a round of applause for making such fantastic minifigures. So, that was it, guys. This was review on the Lego minifigures. Disney's The Muppets. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't, won't miss out any more awesome videos based on Ninjago. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you next time.